Hi everyone, what I've got here is the Fluke 8021B. This multimeter came out in the late 70s or early 80s, I'm not too sure. And it definitely looks like it hasn't been cleaned since then. Although, it doesn't have any cracks or particularly deep scratches, so after a deep thorough clean, it should look good as new. All the buttons seem to work. Trying the on and off switch, but clearly you see they're not working or there's no battery inside. So what I'm going to do first is get a screwdriver and take off this battery cover. Struggling to get it off. There we go. Taking a look inside, there's no corrosion as far as I can tell. The 9 volt battery connector looks good as well. Gonna get the rest of these screws off. Popping open a case and more dust. Tons and tons of dust everywhere. Just gonna remove this shield, have a look underneath. And yeah, just more dust, but no corrosion. Gonna remove this fuse. Might as well test that straight away. If anyone can tell me, is this the original one? Possibly. And we've got a beep. So this fuse seems good. Now this screw is stuck in the screw post, which has become detached from the front of the case. So I'm having to hold it down with a pair of pliers and just screwing the screw out. And there we go. Gonna have to glue this back in place later. Trying to figure out how to remove the PCB. Nope, not this side. There we go. And yeah, it looks uh, look it looks good. Just dust, tons and tons of dust. Gonna have to remove the shield, and the only way to do so is to just rip it off. Trying to be careful so I don't rip it. But I should be able to get it back in later. Worst case scenario, I'll have to glue it back in. As you can see, tons and tons of dust everywhere. So I'm just grabbing some 99% isopropyl alcohol and my toothbrush. I'm just going to scrub everything down. Making sure to get all the sides and the top. I won't bother separating the PCB at this stage. I will put it back together and see if it works first. And yes, the LCD needs to be fixed. I will probably make a video rep replacing it at some point. Now with what I've done here is just got some hot water and dish soap in my sink. Just gonna dunk everything in, let it soak for a few minutes and start scrubbing with a punch. You can see just how dirty that water is getting already. Just rinsing everything off and for the next stage I'm going to use a magic eraser. Now 
Now here you can see just how good of a job the magic razor is doing, but it does take some effort. I think this whole part took me probably about an hour of scrubbing. And a few spots like the bit of paint you just saw there, um, I just had to use a thousand grit sandpaper because I just could not get it off. Doing the back of the case now. Now at this point my hands got sore so I'm taking a break. New sponge, new magic razor I should say. And we're right back to scrubbing. And no, I didn't forget the body cover. Just quickly wiping down the uh, arrow shield with some isopropyl alcohol. Get everything back into the case. Screwing it down. Now what I have to go here is some hot glue, just melting it and trying to get the post back on. Apologies for seeing my bolt head. Getting a battery in. Yes, it's a Dura leak. I will get a better battery for it later. Struggling with the battery cover again. There we go. Getting the last of the screws back in. And there we go. It's already on. Just comparing it to my Fluke 287 and we've got a brand new battery measuring at 1.604. Now comparing that on a Fluke 8021. Yep, I have to put it in the right range first. 1.605 yeah it's not bad it's pretty much bang on now i'm just testing a 10 ohm resistor and yeah it's pretty much bang on as you'd expect with fluke i mean what well, this meter is what 30 40 years old Just for fun, here's a before and after. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time.